Ah, the game is Treehouse. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new breed of video game players among us. Pod players, the Call of Duty players. Now, these guys will get every single Call of Duty that comes out. They will play this game religiously. They will only play this game. Now, keep in mind, I'm talking about those that actually do only play COD and nothing else. Obviously, there is going to be exceptions. So, if you're listening to this video and you're like, what? It's like, yeah, you're obviously one of the exceptions. So, chill out. Anyways, back onto those that always play it. It is a it is an interesting topic because I've discussed this with my gaming buddies before and we're having trouble deciding whether or not they should be classified as a gamer. Now, you know, before the uh, the horns come out and the villagers with the flaming fire sticks come out to, you know, butcher me, let's let's discuss this. A gamer is someone who plays a variety of different games, is committed to gaming and also has a general interest in the industry. You know, a lot of us gamers are the same. We all know what the big name games are coming out. And if you go through our games collection, you're gonna find a variety of different gaming types. Of course, you're gonna see more of one type than another. If you're a first person fan, obviously you're going to have more games in the first person perspective. If you're a sports fan, you're gonna have more sports, but there will be a mix. Now, the COD players, they, it is a bit hard to know what they are because you can't just call them, you can't just say they're not a gamer. You can't say they're not gamers when they commit so much time and effort into these games. They play it hours and hours and hours continuously. They're honing their skills and they'll be doing headshots like it's nobody's business. And you think they have a sniper rifle and you look and you're like, he did that with a pistol. He is that much better than me. He did it with a pistol. Personally, I don't really see them as gamers. Like to me, a gamer is someone who tries out different games, you know, and his skills even out, you know, like I can't really see someone, a gamer who you give them a first person shooter and, you know, they'll be great. But then you get them to play a platformer like Mario and they fall down every single hole in front of them like some uncoordinated person or they play a um an rpg and you know they level up and they they don't know what's happened you know or the fact that they refuse to play a game if it doesn't have online capabilities you know like the single player experience what's that see me i'm a gamer put the game in control of my hands you load up a fighting game i'll give you a good challenge you load up a racer, I'll give you a good challenge. You load up a platformer, you load up a first person shooter. You know, one of those strategic games, you know, real time strategy games. Whatever you put there, I will be able to play to an extent. Because I am a gamer and my gaming experience goes across all of those different genres. But to be honest, if you're an exclusive COD player, and you know, if we can play COD online and you whoop everyone and you seem like a champ, and then I try to get you to play one of these other games and you just can't do it? I'm sorry, my friend. You're not a gamer. I think COD gamers, you know what? You're a COD gamer. That is your title. If you only play one game series and you do not dare to venture out of that tiny secluded box, you're not a gamer. I'm sorry. Gamer is a broad term. You're not part of it. Not that I'm dissing the COD games themselves, you know, if you're a fan of it, great. It's a huge successful series. If you're into it, great. Alrighty, you've been watching Gamers Treehouse 2013. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna stop talking now. Any moment. Oh, dragging it out, dragging it out. Click the stop button, click the stop button. Ah, that'll do it for you.